I'm Peter Mouget from Levin Papantonio. I'm joined by uh, James Kaufman and Chris Palos. We're all attorneys in the business torts, uh, key TAM whistleblower section at Levin Papantonio. And we're here today to walk you through uh, some of the specifics under the Dodd-Frank Act. Now, we have all spent our careers uh, uh, exposing corporate fraud, whether it be in Chris's specialty of, of health care or James's in, in Wall Street or financial services. Um, and Dodd-Frank gives us special tools, and Dodd-Frank is an area that everyone, no matter where you are in the political spectrum, we can all agree that corporate fraud has, I mean, from mortgages to analyst fraud to now the credit rating agencies, everyone has a stake in making sure that fraud gets exposed. And the Dodd-Frank Act has given the whistleblower tools uh, to, uh, to make sure that those claims are brought, they're brought efficiently, and they're brought successfully. So James has got a, a, a niche or a specialty in, in the area of, of financial services or securities fraud. So James, why don't you explain first what Dodd-Frank is and what kind of uh, resources are available under Dodd-Frank for whistleblowers. Sure. Uh, Senators Dodd and Frank enacted uh, Dodd-Frank in, in fall of 2011. And essentially what it is is a bounty program. It, it puts, uh, it's funded with 400, over $450 million, and it provides that if someone brings a tip to the SEC, the Securities Exchange Commission, that that uh, exposes a, a Wall Street fraud, the relator can receive you know, between 15 and 25% of the amount recovered. And that comes out of that $450 million, uh, essentially a bounty program. Um, it's very important uh, to understand that any claim that is filed under the whistleblower, uh, office of the whistleblower, or as a whistleblower case under Dodd-Frank is anonymous. That means that the person uh, can file it and no one really uh, is going to know. It's not like a pleading where they're the plaintiff. It's anonymously made under the program. The other thing that's important to understand is that this has been very successful in, in, its, uh, in its first couple years and that there have been over 3,000 claims filed. Um, what that also means is that you need to find an attorney who is experienced uh, with uh, securities cases, with securities fraud, and is experienced with the Dodd-Frank Act. Um, one of the protections, for instance, in Dodd-Frank is retaliation. Um, sometimes a whistleblower uh, may get fired for uh, exposing corporate fraud. Dodd-Frank provides retaliatory protections that provide for double back pay, uh, uh, reinstatement, and uh, costs and attorney's fees, uh, if successful. The important thing to understand, too, is that regardless of whether the SEC takes your case, that that protection is there no matter what. Um, all you have to show is that you inform the company that you were uh, wh blowing the whistle and they fired you because of that. So again, it's anonymous. Um, there's a $450 uh, million dollar bounty program, and there are uh, protections for uh, uh, employees uh, if they are retaliated or retaliation uh, against them. The SEC, through Dodd-Frank, has acknowledged that one of the most efficient ways to root out corporate fraud is through whistleblowers. And Dodd-Frank gives securities whistleblowers the tools and the resources to bring a claim. I'd encourage you to go to our website, IWantToReportFraud.com, where we walk you through the steps to make sure you, you protect yourself. And we add new content on a regular basis that you're able to go through and, and look at, at each part of your claim and each segment of your claim to make sure you take the right measures. I want to report fraud.com.